All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Uh, first of all, please invite your friends, and don't forget to download the videos after we finish immediately. I mean, look at it. 600,000 chairs only in the top of the flying carpet. It's still small. I mean, it's still acceptable. They can land in my yard. <laughs> you know, actually, my daddy used to have a flying carpet can fit for 800,000 chairs. But he sold it because the city are asking for a lot of tax. Otherwise, we wouldn't use it. Now, look. This is a true story. Then, for his sake, Allah produced a fountain of Milton brass. A fountain of what? What is that? Sorry, this is above my rank. I cannot explain this. Which kept mowing for three days. Eesh, that's a lot. And three nights. Again, three days, three nights. Trinity again. Trinity. I mean, Bismillah, Allahman, Allahim. Three names of Allah. Allah have 99 names. We wash our hands three times. We clean our nose three times. We blam 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 three times. We divorce our wife three times. We swear by Allah three times. We say Assalamu Alaikum three times. Everything this time is a three times. And now Allah, He gave him a fountain, Milton brass, and it's mowing for three days and three nights. Every month. Oh boy. During his region, and told the treasure, price stones. Gold and silver were accumulated, unbelievable, with the help of the genie, Shaitan. They work for Sulaiman, the Shaitan. I mean, this guy is a lucky, lucky guy. He is a lucky guy. Nobody, everybody, go to work, and you know, like hey, Sulaiman, he just got the genie. They get him everything he want. Allah, he make fountains run for him of gold and silver and uh, zulily. The jinn also assists Sulaiman in the construction of many buildings. Yes, like uh, the you know the the, the tower uh, in uh, New York. The tower in New York is built by the genie. Otherwise, how you explain to me why they are high? Let us continue. Let's continue. And admirable operation are appointed out on Arabia Oof, man this guy Suleiman he was building in Arabia too he was building everywhere Arabia Jerusalem Haiti uh, the US Virgin Islands did I say virgins huh. if we send Muhammad there there's no version will stay there uh, other places also accredited for the foundation of a mosque of Alexandria, if, if 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 he put a mosque in Alexandria, why? Why he put a mosque in the Alexandria? Why he did not put a mosque in Mecca? Muslims were wrong. I I sorry, I am I'm really upset. He put a mosque in Alexandria, but at that time there was no Alexandria, you idiot. Alexandria was built by Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable Alexandria. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Let it go, man. Let it go. And then he built Masjid Al Aqsa. He built the Aqsa too. He's from Hamas. Firmly called the Temple of Solomon. Ah, now the Muslims they admitted that Al Aqsa is the Temple of Solomon. That is what the Muslims' problem. They have to admit that they are stupid donkeys. They just admitted that this is something they stole from the Jews. All right. It said to have been built by blocks of stones which were when by means of miraculous 
people call Samur, call Samur, or Samir. Oh, the genie, his name is Samir, which is a jinn named Shakir. Proceed from the sea of eagle. Oh boy, I mean, this is getting really so far. You see where the genies are coming from? You know, next year I want to fix the roof of my house, it's very old and it's going to cost me a lot of money i mean why allah don't send me one was this guy samir can't allah send me samir for for half day this genie his name is samir this genie his name is samir he can fix anything i mean okay allah send me samir two hours let him fix my roofing is going to cost me a couple of thousand of dollars i don't have them this is not even fair suleiman he have everything and we got nothing can't I borrow Samir from uh, Suleiman? Can't some of your Bible donkey, the donkey, correct the prophet? You know, Abdul, let me tell you. You want to talk about donkey? Your prophet, he asked his donkey, Do you like females? <laughs> Let us continue here. So, the Samir is the guy who built for him anything and he is coming from the sea of eagle anyone knows where the sea of eagle i think it's somewhere i'm guessing the sea of eagle is exist maybe in the island of uh, arizona yeah, maybe by the way arizona is in the middle it's, it's an island in usa in case you do not know according to the muslim history books now the sign, the, the, the signet ring of Suleiman and his sovereign, sovereignty. Shortly after the assassin of the Prophet Suleiman, assassin of the Prophet Suleiman, son of the Prophet Dawood, alayhi salam, he proceeded to beautiful valley between Harbun and Jerusalem, where he received his authority over the winds, waters, and genies animals from the four gardens angels in charge of these things so where he got his authority the angels authority over what the winds the water and the genie and the animals that's very important too and he got that from the four gardens angels guardian angels sorry Allah conferred to Suleiman such a power over nature and uh, jin, jin by uh, virtue of a most wonderful gift that came down to him from heaven. What is that? It was a blessed ceiling ring. Eww. So guys, Allah, he sent a special gift to Blafet Suleiman. Solomon who opened the box we will do unboxing he opened the box he found a ring the ring is coming from Allah Abu Adam stop lying nobody is blocking you what a blocking you you idiot you are in the text texting liar like your prophet blocking you if I block you you will not be able to text look now now for the four angels in charge of the wind and the jinn and the animals okay gave Suleiman a jewel which is placed in his ring having the form of six pointed stars what this is the star of david is that the star the most that the jews have it in the flag of israel it was coming from allah People, do you see? Do you witness? Do you witness? The star which the Jews, they have it in their ring, is coming from Allah. It's Allah who made it. 
Suleiman. Okay, hold on. This is from often inscribed on Muslims drinking cups. It was currently currently inscribed in the Islamic coins. Even Islamic coins they used to have the star of Israel. His blessed ring was composed of the metal, brass, and iron. You see the stupid Muslims. The Muslims, when they start to have their own state, they didn't have a state. It's a bunch of savage people. So they were using the Jewish money, the Roman money. So they find ancient, or let's say, old currency. They think that this is their own, making their own money. This is not their money, you idiot. Anyway. Uh, let us continue. However, the most potent and infallible weapon against the devil, behold by all Muslims, okay, is uttering of the words, Allahu Akbar. The most beautiful, powerful weapon is Allahu Akbar. So why Allah, he gave him a ring? Why Allah did not say to Suleiman, say Allahu Akbar? Let us continue. I want to go to the point where when he went to the bathroom. Hold on. Uh, here, when we talk about Balqis, this is the queen of Sheba. He went there and he found she have hair in her legs and he don't like that because the genie, they made her very hairy. Let us see the bathroom. Suleiman put into trial. Let us laugh at this one here. Allah tried Sulaiman alayhi salam, the son of Dawood, by driving him of his kingdom. This is was because Sulaiman married to a woman who become in Murud. What in Murud? She was a, uh, the the very wife of Sulaiman, the very wife of Sulaiman, who used to worship an idol for 40 days in the place of the king without the mere knowledge of Suleiman how ugly she is Suleiman was informed of the city of Saidun let us continue I want to jump a little bit all of, oh by the way I, I encourage you to read those stories they are funny stupid we show you what Islam is about but I want to I want to go where he lost his ring let me search for it. Hold on. Ring. <clears throat> uh, okay. What happened to the kingdom of Suleiman? The ring. Okay. Thus busted the, the demon, he came to Suleiman and he was a signet to which the ring, the greatest name of Allah and blah, blah, blah. Okay, and they, they, they took the ring, okay. He would take out his ring and his hand to Amina, his favorite trusted wife. Imagine, guys, the wife of, of Suleiman, her name is an Arabic name, Amina. She's an Arab. <laughs> And he gave it to her because he cannot insult Allah by taking the ring of Allah with him to the bathroom. So he would ask for his ring after having poo, poo One day, as usual, Suleiman gave his ring to his wife Amina, who was going uh, with him to his private room. She stayed outside, supposedly. After a while, before the Prophet purified himself, cleaned his ass, came asking for his ring. A genie who was the master of the sea. I like this genie. I think I saw him in the in the Caribbean of the, the, the part of the Caribbean. <clears throat> I think he's the one who attacked Jack Sparrow in the movie. Took Took the form of Suleiman. Look at this idiot genie. He took the look of Suleiman and come forward 
to Amina and he said, Where is my ring? Oh, Amina. And now the stupid Amina, she gave the ring to the genie. Let me make the text bigger. Oh, okay. I mean, this is really, really, really scary. I don't know why this is happening. I'm so upset for Suleiman right now. All right. So he said to her, where's my ring? Without the last hesitation, Amina, she handed the ring to him. Amina is stupid. How she know that this is a genie? She doesn't know. She had no knowledge that the one she gave the ring to the to, to the shaitan. And now shaitan, his name is Shakhar or Sakar, put the ring and went out and he sat in the throat. That's really scary. Then the bird and the gene, the genie, all surrounded him, and he was at the moment not only taking Suleiman form, but also and mostly because he now possessed the powerful ring. However, when the Prophet Suleiman came out from the bathroom, having purified himself, his conditions and appearance had much altered even Suleiman his uh, his, 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 his look had changed after he looked from the bathroom imagine guys you entered the bathroom as Suleiman you came from the bathroom you look like a Trump any Muslim can explain to us how Suleiman his look changed after coming from the bathroom Uh, Scott Walker, you want to debate me? Are you a Muslim, Scott Walker? Walker, are you a Muslim? Walker, are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim, Walker? Hey, Walker. Are you a Muslim? You are a Shia Muslim. So what do you mean I shout a lot? What do you mean you don't debate me because I shout a lot? What do you want to be silence? Shout. Let us see how you can shout. What do you mean shout a lot? You are a coward. Call me. Be a man and call me. Let us see. Either people laugh at you or they laugh at me. Who care about who shout? If the truth is in your side, people will hear it. You are just making an excuse. You don't dare to call. 